So if you're thinking about purchasing a new condo unit in BGC, one thing you'll want to think about is the amenities that you get and the price that you're paying for them. In the Philippines, you're usually going to pay for them each and every month in the form of what's called association dues or asset dues. In this vlog, we'll try to break things down for you and to give you an example of what you might typically find in a condo project in BGC. So stay tuned. And before we get started today, I just want to give a huge shout out to the lovely couple from Los Angeles that we just met a few minutes ago in the lobby. This was actually our second meetup, and I just want to say your kind words and support are so inspiring and heartfelt for Jenny and myself. I know Miss Eva had some really nice compliments to give to Jenny, and it just really made her day and my day as well. So thank you guys again so much for the awesome support. All right, let's get started today. First off, I want to give you guys an additional data point. I'm also a homeowner out in California and I own a townhouse unit that is about 100 square meters. For that particular unit, I'm paying $430 a month in asset dues or in the States, we call it homeowners association. And for that, I gotta say, quite frankly, I don't think I'm actually getting much value for my dollars. To translate that to pesos, that's about over 23,000 pesos. And for my particular unit, it's pretty dilapidated, as in there is a swimming pool, but it's not well maintained. And I actually don't think many people are using it. There is a little bit of front yard landscaping and common areas. I think this is actually what they spend most of their time maintaining, in addition to things like the backyard fences and the roof. But other than that, there is no on-site security there is hardly ever any staff that you would run into. And it just seems like on a year to year basis, the inflation is really creeping up a lot because it wasn't that long ago when I was only paying about $300 a month. So now it's ballooned up to about $430 a month. And if I'm actually talking to homeowners out in California, they're telling me that it's actually pretty cheap because in their particular um, townhouse or condo association, the prices are actually starting to get as high as about $700 a month. So with all that said, we're here in the Philippines and I just wanted to give you a better idea of what you're actually getting if you live in a condo unit in BGC. I gotta say your mileage will vary, so keep that in mind. I'm just gonna give an example for one particular condo project. The asset dues here are about 117 pesos per square meter. So to try to give you guys a more apples to apples comparison using the price point that we mentioned for this project for 100 square meters, that would translate to a monthly payment of 11,700 pesos, which is more or less about $215 USD. So that's kind of the breakdown here. And now I'm excited to show you all the different features. Here I'm standing next to the pool area, which I would have to say is probably the crown jewel of the amenities deck. You can see even on a weekday, there's a lot of kids and family members using it. So you're already getting great value from that. Continuing our tour, you'll see they have these really nice hammocks here. So if you wanna just lounge and take an afternoon siesta or read a book, you definitely can. No problem. And hello to our hardworking Ates here. Yes, they always maintain our unit so clean. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello, Po. So you can see just how friendly people are here in BGC in the Philippines. And to be honest, this is not what you would get in the States. I mean, even for all that hefty association dues you're paying, you'd be lucky on a day-to-day -day basis to even run into staff. I mean, most condos in the States, there's just like nobody there. So yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff. So as you can see here, there's actually a playground for kids in addition to daycare centers that they have inside. So these are, I think, maybe more modern features. You're seeing more and more of them in the new condos that are being built, which I think is pretty cool. And here we're actually standing in front of a function hall for this particular condo project. They actually have many of them. And it's just really awesome for things like hosting birthday parties and having events. I know around Christmas time, they actually uh, have like a lot of food options here as well for the residents of this project. 
So, you know, these are like the small little touches that you get that I would say is more rare and hard to find in the States. And again, this is all for the low, low price of 117 pesos per square meter. All right, so just follow me and I'll give you a tour of the on-site gym and they call it the spa area. So the spa area is actually kind of cool because you can use it to get your own personal massage. You can actually hire your own masseuse outside and bring them in here. And it's kind of a private room for yourself and you can just, you know, lay back, unwind and get a massage. As I mentioned, there's more than one function room here. So, you know, if somebody has one occupied, you can probably find another one or one that's, you know, more suited for the size of your party. So, there you go. Okay, and walking down this corridor, you'll see something like a business center and a game room. And I think a lot of the developers are just getting more and more creative with the new projects. I know I'm highlighting VGC as this example, but this also applies to the new townships that are under development or you know early in the planning stages. It's like they're always getting progressively better and better. So if you have kids, something like this, a daycare, could be a total game changer. And I don't have kids, but I can only imagine how useful it would be to have a daycare you know, in the building of your condo. All right, I'm sitting in this area. I think they call it a reading nook. Um, I guess I never really knew what that was, but you know, you can kind of imagine it's kind of secluded and hidden off to the side. You want to just grab a good book and then just chill, unwind, sit down, relax. Here you go. So you can see this amenities deck here is pretty spacious. This is actually the second pool area so I think this is actually really useful if there's too many people in the main pool. You can actually come out here and, you know, swim your laps or what have you. It's uh, usually available and I don't think many people use this one here. So I can't say it applies to every condo project in BGC or elsewhere in the Philippines. But in this particular development, there's actually two towers and I'm kind of standing in the middle of it right now. One really great thing is if you're a resident here, whether you're from Tower 2 or Tower 1, you're going to actually be able to make use of all the amenities that are featured and offered here. So it isn't the case like if you live in Tower 2, you can't use the amenities from Tower 1 or vice versa. It's nothing like that. You can share and use them freely. So we were just in Tower 1 now and I just want to show you what's available in Tower 2. In here, they're calling it a clubhouse area, but I don't know, to me it kind of looks like another function room where you can host events and parties, but nevertheless, you can see just like how great it is to have so many different rooms that you can utilize as a resident, of course. All right, and here we have another business center and another daycare. Now, if you really want to get away from people and get some serious work done, you might really appreciate an area such as this. So in this particular condo building, they actually have two meeting rooms and there's glass enclosure around it. So I think if you have a small business or staff and employees and you really want to just focus and concentrate, you could probably rent out one of these units and um, you know get your work done. I think you're getting great value here because if you're from the States or I guess pretty much anywhere else in the world, you'd be very hard pressed to find all these conveniences and amenities under one condo building. And again, the price for this particular project is about 117 pesos per square meter. I don't think that's too outrageous because you're getting so much. And again, if you're gonna uh, price it in regards to a typical 100 square meter unit, that's about $215 per month USD. So I think the value proposition is definitely there. Okay, and that's all for this amenities tour for today. I hope you found the content useful and you have a better understanding of what amenities might look like in a condo project 
in BGC. I gotta say I'm pretty happy and satisfied with all the features and especially to the very hardworking staff um, that are pretty much working here 24 seven to you know, take care of the residents. Um, that's something I greatly appreciate. And it actually helps so much to know that in a place like this, you have like on-site security 24 hours a day. So you know, if anything goes wrong, God forbid, there is usually somebody you know, that's within reach and you can access for help. And with all that said, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of BGC Dreams. If you did, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel below. Until next time, peace.